All right, hi everyone, Giant Size here, otherwise known as Chris, and welcome to a new series on the channel that I'm calling the Minecraft Design Challenge. So I've had an idea for a while that I really enjoy building creatively in Minecraft, but I feel like I haven't played in a long time and a lot of new blocks and mechanics and things have been added but I haven't built with them. On top of that, when I did build, I tended to stick to things I was comfortable with and build um, with blocks. I really knew how they worked. They were kind of the simple stuff, right? So I wanted to try to push myself, become a better builder, a be better designer, and become more comfortable with how blocks can be used to create interesting effects and how they you know combine with other blocks especially new blocks to have these um, outcomes so thus from that is the minecraft design challenge which is what we're starting here and what that means is if i fly up here this is a little world i've built and i'm not going to show you everything because you'll see why so i've built some grid patterns and some little you know just intersections basically um, and what you can see here is they're all a bunch of different sizes and when I go down them we have future episodes basically so sculpture design challenges and we might not do I have left like 10 spots here I might not do 10 but these the idea is each of these spots will be filled with a different kind of sculpture build and that that can be based on whatever whatever we choose to do and how we've done it we've done one um, building session on twitch on live and we built for oh i don't know three and a half hours three hours something like that and we did some builds and we took viewer input and for themes and ideas and tossed ideas around and built some stuff so that's how these are going to work you can see this one, they're slightly bigger plots, and it's for tiny homes, and so on and so forth. And there's a lot of um, things I want to do, all the way from kind of these small, really small, minuscule plots to a little bit bigger, but still small, to these like decent sized, largest chunks, to you know, some medium sized ones, to some extremely large ones, which I haven't built yet, but which we're going to do. Let me see if I can fly backwards so you don't see what we're working on. <laughs> so the idea is to just really try to push our um, building skills and become better at the game, right? So with that in mind, each episode will have a theme. And we started with statues on uh, Twitch while we were doing this. So this first episode is going to be about statues. And it's probably going to be a shorter one because... We've already built the statues. We built them live on stream. So if you ever want to be part of that, check me out on Twitch, Giant Size Gaming. We have a lot of fun uh, doing this. We were just chilling in the chat, hanging out, talking about all sorts of stuff, talking about what we did and didn't think looked good. Viewers were suggesting a theme for each of the statues. So that was fun to try to challenge ourselves. And, and we had a great time and I really enjoyed it. And I, I'm looking forward to continuing that. So we'll go over and we'll look at some of the statues and then maybe we'll talk about some of the other um, build ideas. You can see a sneak peek off in the corner of something that was happening over there. But, all right, so let's talk about this. So one thing, I guess I should bring my, my building menu up. So one thing that we did, and we didn't really like how it works, so we probably won't do it in the future, but just, just for full honesty with you. Sorry. Blackstone wall. Oh no, we need blackstone. Polished blackstone. There we go. We So what we did is we built something. So this is our first statue. The theme that was suggested was a water fountain. But like, not just, you know, a straightforward, just boring water fountain. We wanted something a little bit interesting. So we built a water fountain. Now how we did it was we um, had four inspiration blocks to inspire this fountain which is kind of where we got the white 
right? Quartz from, we got the stone. We kind of went for a blue theme. We ended up changing it to this kind of terracotta uh, underneath. And we didn't really use the, this, it's, it's, it looks purple, but it's technically light blue um, theme. So I think in the future, we're just not even going to use designs because some of them we didn't put the blocks down first and we had a better build. So this is kind of a weird looking little um, water fountain, little statue, but it's different, right? And that's what we were going for. We wanted to go for something that wasn't the normal water fountain that you see. It was something a little different and you could see this in a square somewhere and it just gives a little bit of character, right? Um, so we've got, you know, slabs. We were really experimenting with slabs and how they interact work with like um, fences and stairs and then of course full blocks and seeing what we could come up with it's cute we kind of looked back at all we did five statues this time around and we looked back at the end with the viewers and we talked about which ones are our favorite and it was surprising there was a few people who said this one you know was their favorite out of them and and i didn't expect that because it's kind of a simpler build right all right so let's look at our next one so our next one, here we go. Now the idea, when we saw our theme colors of black and gold and kind of, we, we wanted to build a statue that you would find in a big city that kind of marks out a district per se. You would see it at the, at the middle of like a armorer's district or a metalworking district or a blacksmith district or something like that. So we took the Minecraft anvil and anvils in general as our inspiration. We built ourselves an anvil. Don't mind me. And then we put up some um, kind of iron, what they're supposed to be like statues, you know, as close as we can. So they wouldn't just be suits of ar armor. That are out there because obviously those could get stolen right in a in a realistic city but we put those out and and yeah it was good i think this one's very simple but it's almost like striking in its simplicity i really like this one i think we got the um shape of the anvil on the that kind of that curved smaller point now we could taper it down so it's not completely even right like we could take out this corner block and maybe that would look a little better i don't know but this is what we came up with so i think that one was fun and it was a neat way to interpret it so the next one was a very interesting one um the viewer requested a lava fountain and I was like, lava fountain, like how am I gonna, what are we gonna do? I don't want it to just be like the water fountain, but just lava instead. I want it to feel like, um, it, ma it makes sense, right? So my in my head, my thought was, how do you, in a world, like realistically, if you're having lava coming out of somewhere, where is it going? It can't just be pooling in a fountain and then working it, like it would cool off, it would harden, whatever. So. The idea is that the lava is being forced up like it would and it's coming out of being channeled up and then it's flowing back down into the depths. And the idea we ran with was so, <laughs> the viewer who ended up being my wife, uh, Kira, drunk noob girl, she wanted it to be something you would see in Soren's garden from Lord of the Rings, right? So we went with a bit more of the evil vibe and I kind of took that and ran with it and did a, uh, did this and did a kind of a demonic statue or representation of some sort of demonic creature that is guarding, you know, you can see it guarding the entrance to a, some sort of, you know, scary, t uh, tower or, the Tower of Mordor or a big scary mountain or something like that, right? So the idea is, is that we have this creature, this demon thing, and the face was really interesting. So how I've done it, how I've imagined it is a body kind of coming up, you know, bent over, racked over, kind of maybe in pain. We got some arms holding the lava 
and um, this weird kind of alien like face. We got some torches just because <laughs> maybe they look like eyes. I don't know. I don't think so. But weird kind of face. And then the lava flows into this pit and falls. And you can see in the pit, what we tried to do is it starts off as this kind of burnt gold thing. And then it slowly becomes this kind of red, hellish thing is further down. And you could have this go further down. And ideally in a big world, I think it'd be kind of cool to have this open up to a big underground cavern. That's mostly this black stone and this red veiny. And it's kind of that hellish pit, right? And I, I enjoyed it. And I think the wings, she th she thought they were ears at first. Because when you look like this, they kind of look like ears. I think the wings turned out decent. They're, they're simple. But they have some character. So I really like this one. I think it turned out really good. It, it tells a story. It's different from our other two. Right? I think it was pretty cool. And those were our design blocks. And like I said, in the future, I don't think we're going to use the inspiration blocks. We're just going to keep it and build it as we talk about it. All right, so this was our next one. This one was a classic um, statue of a person, right? How do we build a statue of a person at this small of a scale? Because we're working with a pretty small scale here that still looks enough like a person that it works. But it isn't... Like, it's a challenge because you can't really have the big, you know, build the big arms and make it look right. And, like, look at our, like, our feet are just two sets of stairs. Like, that's how small our scale is. We're just two blocks wide by two blocks wide is the body, right? So, what we did is we, we ended up using stairs to make a neck so that there's some, you know, difference between the head and the torso. Uh, stairs to make the feet. Now the arms stick out a, a little far maybe, but I think they work. I think they work good. We put some uh, bluish armor on him. So he's got the shoulder pieces. Got a little hand sticking out holding the shield. So this shield is just walls. It's end portal walls, I believe it is. Um, and then we used banners a lot in this one. So we used banners on the shield and banners for kind of uh, armor. So you can almost see this like chainmail chest piece that we made with patterns on the banners and then kind of some yellow, almost like kilt pants or who knows, whatever you want to think of that as. Now, um, I think everyone who's built a human-esque statue in Minecraft has used fences to create a uh, weapon shaft, right? And I put an anvil and a beacon on top. And it's kind of like a mage staff is what I'm imagining it. I tried to make it look a bit like a spear. I couldn't really figure out what I wanted on top of the anvil to make it look like a spear. We tried iron bars. It didn't really look right. It looked more like a stab stick, <laughs> which was like weird. We tried to make it look like an axe and it just, it just wasn't working on this small of a scale how we wanted it. So we went with the mage stick and I think, I think the statue turned out pretty good. You can see it's a little bit wider of a base than say these ones, which fit inside the, the square really nicely. Um, we had to go a little bit wider of a base in order to have the um, spear be planted or the staff be planted into the ground. But I think it turned out good. I think you could see these in a in a city or guarding the entrance to kind of a um, temple, right? It's just interesting. Interesting little design. And I, and I really like how it turned out. It's simple, but you know what it is when you look at it. Okay, let's replace these blocks while I'm thinking about it. Last one. This was our last one. And the idea was to try to build a nature temple. So kind of like a temple that's devoted. It's simple. It's overgrown somewhere in nature. You can see how some of our, I think our vines are climbing up. Because these are definitely longer in a few places than they were before. Um, yeah, you can see them growing as we stand here. So the idea is... To create a nature temple that is kind of lost, you know, in the dark, in the lost in the woods somewhere. It's overgrown. It's very, like, it's been overgrown by nature. It's very um, kind of magical, and but it's simple, right? So we've got this very kind of, just this zigzag pattern of the walls all the way around, just to give it a little bit of character, with the soul lanterns, 
we've got a little bit of a waterway in here, a re recessed waterway. All right, so we can go into here and look. You got some vines, we got some lily pads, put some coral in, give it a pop of color. When we go back out, right, we've got the special ground texture. I think it's micellum, is that is that right? This stuff? No. Warp nylium is what we went with. Okay, and then it's covered in sea pickles everywhere. Sea pickles are so cool. Um, like the candles that are coming in the next update, how you can have it between one and four per stack. And so it adds a lot of texture and variety. And so we've got it all over the place and like on the top and, you know, slabs, we can't be putting it on because then they'll, they'll levitate. That's why it's not there and it's not on these, these blocks. But um, we kind of ran with it and we did the vines because I thought that was unique. Now they've grown up a little bit, so they're kind of at different heights than what we expected. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a living, breathing, living, breathing uh, statue. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So yeah. So this was our our nature temple, basically a small one, just a small one that you would find um, in the middle of nowhere, overgrown. It's not well maintained, but you can see how it still connects with that kind of natural element right so yeah so these were our five um statue builds for the twitch stream and this is you know we built these over a matter of a couple hours and and really took our time with them and experimented and um, tweaked them a little and had some fun and and i think each of them is very different from the last and represents a different thing and can would be put in a different place in the world and that's really what I want to try to do so I've left five more spots for statues which we're going to do at some point that'll probably be like statues part two um, and I'm excited to see what we can come up with to try to parallel these and then we'll have a little corridor of statues which I think is just fun um, and I've left lots of room for expansion here so some of the ideas we're going to work on in the future so that you can get excited about and possibly join uh, the Twitch to come help plan them. So we're going to do five different roller coasters, which is kind of fun. What do we got over here? We're going to do signpost design. So these are very simple, but we're going to try to play around with it. This is a very simple one, these small ones. And street lights, right? Easy, but that might be one full episode, all ten of those. We'll see. We're going to do um, tiny towers. I've left 10, whether we use all 10 or if we change one side. Um, this, we won't talk about the one side. The So this is all uh, small bridges, which we've started working on. So I'm not going to show you those, but this is just a chasm to cover over with a bridge. I'm not going to show you those. That's a future episode. We started working on those. Um, what else do we have? I think this one is the nether entrance. So a couple different nether entrances. Left six spots. Like I said, we might change it. And people are suggesting what we should try building and designing as well. So it's changing. Um, a couple long bridges. Left four spots for some big bridges. And then these big ones are interesting. These two on this side are Viking halls. And these two on this side are hobbit holes. So there's going to be some things, right? And... This is going to get expanded on, and there's going to be different stuff, and I'm really excited about this series, and I think it's going to be fun. Crumbling Ruins, and Crumbling Ruins. And yeah, and we'll just see where it goes, and see what we can come up with, and what the, the designs will be, and I'm excited. So hopefully, you guys are excited to try to see some different designs, and maybe get some inspiration for your own builds, and what you want to do with them. And I think this series, when we go forward, will be, you know, a really good source of creativity and collaboration with viewers. And, and yeah, so if you want to check me out on Twitch and join in on one of these, um, this isn't what we do every Twitch stream, but some Twitch streams. I stream regularly on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. 
usually for three to four hours. And then on Saturdays, I stream at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific. And then again at 6 p.m. Pacific, usually for another three or four hours. So I stream twice on Saturdays. Now, this coming Saturday, from the week you see this, it'll uh, that's changed because we're doing a Friday night special stream. But usually it's Saturdays. And you can check my Twitch page, Giant Size Gaming, to see my latest schedule. All right. I'm going to leave that here. Hopefully you enjoyed episode one where we talked about the design challenge and what is to come and talked about statues. Take care. Have a great day.